Good morning, everyone. This is Haralambos Pistros, senior analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 24th of uh, March. Dollar rises on more hoggish Fed talks. Yesterday, the US dollar added to its uh, gains made uh, this week after one more FOMC member talked up the possibility of uh, near term rate hikes. St. Louis Fed President James Bullard said that uh, policymakers should consider raising rates in the next meetings if incoming data continue to show strength in the US economy. The official also communicated his skepticism about the Fed's uh, dot plot, which has uh, described as adding uncertainty to financial markets and even said that he considered dropping out from the whole exercise. What is interesting in our view is that while markets only expect a single rate hike this year, uh, the latest bunch of Fed speakers have tried to convince investors that two rate hikes are a very realistic scenario. This suggests uh, to us that officials may be concerned that the Fed is falling behind the curve and that the market has lost its faith in their forward, forward guidance. Focus will now shift to Fed Chair Yellen, who will address uh, the Economic Club of New York uh, next week. If she makes similar remarks and sounds more upbeat than she did at the FOMC meeting last week, this could confirm that uh, the Fed is indeed trying to shift market thinking to two rate hikes this year. In such an event, we may see market expectations for the Fed fund uh, rate to come forward, something that could add even more fuel to the dollar's uh, recent rally. Overnight, uh, the summary of opinions of uh, the Bank of Japan's uh, March meeting showed that uh, some board members expressed their doubts about the effectiveness of uh, negative interest rates and even suggested to roll back the policy. While these uh, members were a minority, this still suggests uh, that there is a profound division among the board's uh, opinions. We believe that this lowers the likelihood for the bank to cut rates further in the upcoming meeti meetings, despite the recent comments by Governor Kuroda that uh, the rate could be lower even to minus 0.5%. After all, just a week ahead of uh, cutting rates into the negative territory, he's the one who said that the board is not considering such a move. In the event that further easing is required, officials may prefer to expand or adjust the bank's asset purchase program. As for today's highlights, in Eurozone, the ECB will release its economic bulletin for March. This presents the economic and monetary formation that is the basis for the governing council's policy decisions and is released uh, two weeks after each uh, policy meeting. Although, although we don't expect any major reaction from the euro, it will be interesting to see what kind of data promoted the governing council to ease so aggressively in March. In the UK, retail sales for February are expected to have fallen on a monthly basis after surging by the most in two years in January. The yearly print is expected to have slowed. And decline following an, astoni an astonishing uh, surge uh, appears more than normal to us, but given the recent tumble of uh, the pound, this could encourage uh, sellers to remain in the front seat. From the US, we get du durable goods orders for February. Both the headline and core figures are forecast to have fallen following sharp rises uh, during January. The headline rate is expected to have fallen uh, notably more than the core excluding uh, transportation, mainly due to a significant slowdown in civilian aircraft uh, orders. Bearing in mind that uh, the new orders component of the market manufacturing PMI slowed to a three-year low in February, and that uh, industrial production fell as well, and drop in durable goods so appears uh, quite likely. This data could cause the greenback to give back some of this week's uh, gains. The preliminary market service sector PMI for March is coming out as well, but no forecast is available. We also get initial jobless claims for the week uh, that ended on the 18th of March and expectations are for a slight increase, while the four week moving average is expected to have fallen a bit. As for the speakers, St. Louis Fed President James Bullard speaks again. For more information, including technical analysis, 
please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.